I feel like U of L, I've always wanted to play for U of L. Uh, I just couldn't pass up the opportunity to play for my hometown team. Everything's here. I have my support system here. Um, Coach Sass is a great dude. Coach Dennis and Coach Ivy. I built a relationship with the U of L coaching staff that I, I just feel it's unexplainable and un. un it's comparable uh, compared to those other two programs. Those other two programs are great, but I felt like what stuck out great about Louisville was just they've been with me ever since my freshman year, and uh, they've always believed in me, and I've always believed in them, and they made it happen, and now we're here. I talked to you a couple of weeks ago. You said you went somewhere, and it feels like family. How did you make it feel like family? Oh, like I touched on, uh, U of L, uh, Coach Sass, a great dude. I built a relationship with them ever since my freshman year. Uh, they were my second offer. Uh, they've been following me ever since my state championship my freshman year. Uh, it meant a lot to me that they stuck by my side and didn't really flee away like uh, um, some other college options. But, you know, it just, it just meant a lot to me that the hometown school just stuck by my side for, for time to time. Oh uh, yeah, for my family, it's great. Uh, it's great for my family because uh, I'm not traveling anywhere far. I'm right here in the city. Um, my family and all my supporters can come watch me play. It's just right around the corner at uh, Gardner Stadium. Why did you want to commit today? I felt like um, last week was a busy week with Mill Manuel, so I needed time to focus on uh, beating them. And then, you know, we obviously beat them with a shutout. Um, and then I felt like moving on to this week, I kind of planned ahead. And um, I've been silently committed for a while. And I felt like this week was the week to just, you know, take care of business so I can go on and uh, win a state championship with my high school uh, teammates. What does Coach Satterfield and his staff say about how they plan to use you once you get there? Uh, so Coach Sat, Coach Ivy, Coach Dennison, of course, uh, I'm playing on the D-line, of course, uh, next to my future buddy, Papa Williams. Uh, that's my guy. Um, so more, I'm just going to be playing as a three technique, um, of course, rushing off the edge. And really, honestly, I can just – play as anything as possible. I just want to help my team and help UofL and keep building and uh, make us and continue being one of the top ACC teams uh, in the conference, of course. Taylor, when did you know it was Louisville? And, and, and has, it been a, has it been a little while or, did, or was it recent? Uh, so, like I said, I've been solidly committed for probably about like a week and a half. Um, I made my mind up about two weeks ago. I sat down. I slept on it for a few nights. Uh, I wanted to make sure I was 100% right. I didn't want to second guess myself. Um, and, and once I sat down, I sat down, I talked to my mom. I talked to her multiple nights in a row, hours and hours, just phone conversations, just talking a lot. Um, I broke down how I felt about all three colleges. And what stood out most to me about U of L was just, it's a hometown team. I can't pass up this opportunity. I feel like my name holds weight in this city more than it holds weight in anywhere else in the world. And how much relief was it? when that moment passed? It was a big relief. Um, this recruiting process has been long. I, I've met a lot of coaches around the country. I've talked to many programs from the West Coast, from anywhere around the country, honestly. And um, I just reached out and, you know, I looked at my options. I took visits. Um, I had virtual visits. I met different coaches. I met different players. And I felt like all to the end, it just funneled back to, to my hometown to where I felt comfortable and I felt like I could make an impact on with uh, you just mentioned hometown. You, Caleb Glenn now, just how cool is it that this high school, this program at Mel, is now going to be able to try to make a statement over at Oh, uh, So, yeah, so there's a big tradition for Mel kids going to, to UofL. Of course, you had Michael Bush and a lot of those guys go to UofL. Um, and I feel like me and Caleb, with him being with the basketball and me being with the football, it just continues the legacy of the Mel and the, and the local connection. Um, of course, I wanted to keep that up in the 2022 class, and then he has it in the 2023 class. I feel like it's a big, it's a big thing for us, me and Caleb, um, just to be kids from Louisville, and we're also the hometown heroes. So that plays a huge role in why I committed, and I'm pretty sure why he committed to Louisville. You put in more. Pro Some of my goals heading into my freshman season, uh, of course, I, I made those uh, top three schools my top three schools because I wanted to make an impact early. So I'm, I'm hoping to make an impact early on the D-line and also bring my leadership role into the program. Uh, I want to touch other people in the locker room and be, I want to be uh, a, a leader to them as a young freshman. So I, I just want to rub off my leadership that I have at Mail and that I've been having in my past years at Louisville. You just talk. Uh, so it was kind of last minute. I knew I knew where I was going. Um, so I just had to bring out the ripped jeans and the Louisville shirt. And of course, my favorite color is red. 
So I had to get a red hat and a red shirt. It was only right to do so. So that's that's what uh, made my fit what it is today. You talked about male kids going to Louisville in the tradition. Are you going to put any pressure, go talk to any of your teammates that – you know, you might want to bring along with you. Most definitely, uh, the kids that are my teammates that have offers from U of M, of course, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put a bug in their ear. I'm gonna let them know that uh, we're gonna build something special at U of M with the 2022 class, 2023 class, and for every other class that's coming in. Certainly, now that this is over, you got a little business to tend to, don't you? Just talk about playing with being a commitment now. Not having that pressure going out in the final four weeks. Um, so with the recruiting process coming to an end for me, uh, it gives me more time to, to focus with my teammates uh, and not really worry about two plates at one time. So now I put this, I ate this one, I ate one plate, and now I'm about to eat another plate, and I'm about to focus on the state championship that I'm that I'm about to go on with this journey with my teammates, my guys, and also Coach Wolf, um, and us, you know, building and building and building what we've been doing. Uh, I've been to three state championships, three state championships in a row. Uh, I'm trying to make it a fourth one here as we uh, take care of business tomorrow in the first round when it's going to break the start down.